if you or someone you know are seeing people in your vision that you know aren't actually there this can be a very very frightening experience and you may believe yourself to be um, insane or mentally ill but if this is accompanied by a visual loss, i.e. if you have suffered a visual loss in the past and you have something like macular degeneration, um, cataracts or diabetic retinopathy or anything which has caused a loss of your vision, then these kind of visual hallucinations can actually accompany that. And it could be something called Charles Bonnet syndrome, which is not a mental illness. Charles Bonnet syndrome is quite rarely known actually, it should be known about a lot lot more because it is present in up to 50% of people which suffer from visual loss and the way it presents itself is through visual hallucinations and experts don't really know exactly what causes these visual hallucinations but they suspect that it is to do with previous images stored in, in the brain from when there was vision um, or even fantasy images created by the brain when there is a lack of visual stimulus. Now, these visual hallucinations can be very different for different people. Some people report seeing geometric shapes and patterns, other people report seeing people, um, people from the past even, um, animals, even entire landscapes can be created in the vision. These hallucinations can appear anywhere on the ceiling, on the floor, they can be in colour, they can be um, black and white, they can present for days, hours, minutes. It is very, very different for different people. Some people can experience them just for, a, you know, a few days. Other people do experience these for years and years. Some people enjoy these hallucinations, actually. They can give them a sense of comfort. Other people are terrified from them and believe themselves to be insane and they're afraid to let, you know, healthcare professionals know. So this is part of why I want to raise awareness of this. So if you have suffered visual loss or any of your family members have suffered a visual loss and they are suffering these visual hallucinations there's no need to suffer alone you're not you know mentally ill you're not certifiably insane or anything like that and there is things that can be done to alleviate some of your symptoms and manage you know some of that anxiety that can accompany it so i hope you've enjoyed this video today and do check out Charles Bonnet syndrome. There's lots of great information for on the Macula Society and also a website, I believe, called Charles Bonnet syndrome too.